Welcome to the Moto Pilot Hangar. that most of you guys have done nothing with the flooring in your garage and it's not that you don't want to but it's usually like the last thing we think about doing and usually we haven't done it yet because it's pretty pricey let's take my garage for example uh, my walls were fully finished my roof was fully finished I had nice cabinets everything looked great in my garage except for the flooring. And every time I'd go in my garage and I'd look down at the oil stains and stuff, I'd be like, man, that just looks crappy. And I simply didn't want to spend a ton of money getting my floor finished. So I started doing research and looking around and seeing what's available out there because there's different things you can do. You know, there's the paint and then there's stick down tiles and then there's, you know, outdoor carpet. And so I went online and I started poking my nose around and I found a flooring company. Now I have a three car garage, so I'm guessing it's at around 350 square feet. The more expensive 12 inch plastic tiles that you uh, like click together, they are like $2.44 a square foot. So for my three car garage, I was looking at about $854. I didn't want to spend that much. And then they have a cheaper tile, or actually they have a rollout mat. That's $1.52 a square foot. And for my three car garage, it would have come to $532. And I wasn't really too into the mat, didn't really have the look I wanted and, and so on. I like this street because of all the palm trees. Looks great on video. Now I did find a 12 inch black tile that they sold comes in black comes in white or a black and white checker and it's only 40 cents a square foot which would bring my garage down to only 140 bucks now we're talking and I was gonna totally commit to doing that um, I was kind of turned off by how much work it would take laying down all these square tiles you know cleaning the floor so it would stick moving a ton of stuff out of my garage but the price was right where I wanted it to be and then I started thinking, if I did my whole garage in this black tile, it's going to show everything. It's going to show dust and dirt particles and everything. And I'm constantly going to be having to worry about keeping it clean. So that kind of turned me off. So then I went to Home Depot and I looked at their outdoor carpeting. And I already done half of my garage in this outdoor carpeting, but I couldn't remember how much I paid. And it's kind of like this textured black gray carpet. It's the thin outdoor stuff. And that stuff is only 48 cents a square foot. So essentially I could do my whole three car garage for about $170. And what I like about the carpet is it doesn't show stuff as easily as, as you know, like dust and particles. Um, it's, it, it's easier on the feet. I like walking on it. If you're concerned about getting stains on it, like while you're lubing your chain or changing your oil and you leak oil, um, just be more careful or get like a, a separate mat and a mat that's just big enough to cover the area where you park your bike to protect your carpet. It's not a big deal. What the... Dude, I really bothers me when a light doesn't know that I'm here. I should have got the green right there. I'm going to run this thing in a minute. The cops around. Nope. If I don't get the green, I'm going. So I'm guessing that most of you guys probably don't have a three car garage. Let's say you got a two car or single car, it's gonna be even cheaper. I mean, I love having the carpet in my garage. I think it looks great. I just went around the edges with some black uh, duct tape, taped them down, holds everything in place, looks good, it's easy to do. You could literally carpet in your garage in probably like an hour to two hours. So if you've been following my videos for a while, you know my garage wasn't always this organized. So I've been making an extra effort to get this thing cleaned up and it's looking pretty good. No garage is complete without a drum set. All right, so check this out. These curtains, great way to clean up your garage without spending thousands of dollars on storage cabinets. Hides up the crap that you don't want to see when you don't need it, you know, all these just storage racks. Another thing I did here was I bought these three hooks at Home Depot. They're for curtains. 
great for hanging your backpacks. So anyhow, the mission for today is getting this floor done because the floor looks like crap. This crappy floor here is gonna look like this when it's done. And you can see how bad this all looks. So the carpet's gonna go from here all the way over to here. And that's really it, it's gonna look really good. So first thing I gotta do is pull these racks out, get these bikes out of here, get this out of here. This all can stay, I'm stopping right here. All right, man, so let's get all this crap out of here and get this going. all done and I'm stoked with the way it turned out you can see now it's all nice and even and I'm in my socks right now so it feels really good on the feet when I want to clean it I can either broom it sometimes or I'll come out here with the vacuum and just want to vacuum over it real quick and like I said it's not going to show dust you know it's going to show little particles here and there but you just clean those up So hey you guys, thanks for watching. Love the support. Keep those comments coming. Don't forget to visit my Teespring site for some cool shirts. And we'll see you guys next video.